Hey guys, happy fall. I'm Christy, thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna make bone broth. The weather started to change, it's super cozy out today. And I don't know about all you guys, but for me when the weather starts to change, my bones start to hurt. Like I know the weather has changed before I've woken up and I know I'm not the only one. But I love to make bone broth for myself and I make it for my daughter Nicole and I do strain it so that she'll like drink it like just in a cup to go through the day. It's, it's great anti-inflammatory, it's just so good for you and if you, if you do it right and you save it, you can also use it for other recipes too. So today I'm going to use my big spaghetti pot because even though I have gotten hurt with this thing in the past, this strainer action is great for putting in all the ingredients so that I can just strain it easily and have the broth. Now this is the big, the big, big secret of this bone broth is I use, okay, these are beef bones that I got from the butcher. They're not like free anymore. Okay, here's the angle, here's the shot. <laughs> you know, like they used to be free. You're like, oh, can I have some bones? Well, that's not really the case anymore, but I did get these from the butcher and it's daters. And what I do is I roast them first in the oven. I put olive oil over them, drizzle olive oil and spices. It opens it up, it loosens up the marrow. And I know that it sounds, my sounds like it sounds gross, but I know it's good for you. And it is, and you can already see like, when you pull them out of the oven, that it has started to loosen up. So I'm going to do, what do I have here, six bones. So I think it's like, I don't know, I think this is like three pounds or so. No, not quite that actually. But I'm gonna put it with a gallon of water. So don't use narco water. I mean, this isn't that much better, but it beats, uh, it beats a lot of other things. So, gonna go with six bones, a gallon of water, okay, slow motion. <laughs> and I haven't turned on the fire yet. Actually, this burner is giving me trouble today. I hope that it lights right away. So, six bones, a gallon of water. And since I'm gonna strain it, I, I'm not gonna like chop everything all great. Chunky, monkey is fine. Even though I like all the fruits and vegetables, not fruits, but the veggies in it now, I want this to be a clear broth so that I can use it for lots of different things and so that I can also have it like just in a coffee cup and not have like parsley in my tooth or something as I'm going through the day. I'm gonna use regular par Italian parsley and regular parsley and actually basil from my front yard and Thai basil because I'm growing Thai basil too. So, oh, you know what, I forgot the carrots. Hold on, <laughs> forgot the carrots. Carrots, I'm gonna do some celery. You don't have to, but these are gonna, these are just the baby carrots I brought out of the bag. I'm just gonna actually, Dump a whole bunch in there. And then I'm gonna put, this is just a big old gobble of herbs out of my yard. So regular parsley, Italian parsley, basil, Thai basil, a chopped onion. I'm gonna go ahead and put some rosemary because I have a, a ton of it. I'm gonna put some green onion as well and a little bit of celery and I'm gonna keep the tops on the celery the tops are the best part so make sure you keep the tops so and I'm gonna put some vinegar get some nice aromatic action going here. Quite a bit of vinegar actually. That was just like, um, not even a cup, maybe a cup. Salt and pepper. It already smells good. Let me see if my stove's gonna work. Ah, ta-da, it worked. <laughs> and what you wanna do is bring it to boil, put it way low, 
for 12 to 24 hours. Now, I'm not gonna leave this burning for 12 to 24 hours. I will burn down the house. No, no joke, I had the firemen at my house once. A long time ago, I made split pea soup. I forgot all about it. I went to the beach, fire was coming out my windows when I pulled up and came home. I forgot why that would possibly be, so I called the fire department. Sure enough, there's like my ham hock, like a charcoal on the stove. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it cook all day, and when I go to bed, I'm gonna transfer it to the crock pot. Because the longer the better, so 12 to 24 hours. And then I'm gonna use some of that, and I'm gonna make my own little fa. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna use it for that as well, and put it in mason jars, give it to people, drink it every day, drink it through the day. It's super good for you. It's anti-inflammatory, and you lose weight too. Take care.